Well, good morning, my YouTube fans. This is Tony Reno from Two World for Fun. You know, the site I created for the simplicity of the ride. Well, what do we have here? <laughs> yes, sir. That's right, people. It is new bike reveal time. But before we get into that, um, many of you may have noticed that I've been absent from the YouTube community. <laughs> well, let's get real. Ain't nobody worried about me. <laughs> but uh, for those... <laughs> Sorry about that. Uh, <laughs> I haven't posted a serious video in quite some time other than a few days ago when I put up the, um, you know, over 50 still on two, you know, my five reasons not to purchase a ZX-14R, um, specifically targeted at, you know, those over 50. But other than that, I've just put up a lot of shorts or a few shorts here and there. And um, it's not that I've been taking a break or I'm burnt out or anything like that. It's just... I just haven't felt like posting ever. But anyway, I'm back here now. And um, like I was saying earlier, new bike reveal time. Now, many of you know my BMW 1250 RT as well as the Kawasaki ZX-14R. And in most cases, I can't make a video without my 2016 Honda Goldwing. Well, as the book says, this too shall pass <laughs> because I have a new motorcycle. <laughs> Now, I've searched long and hard. Um, I've been looking at the BMW K 1600 GT. I've been looking at the uh, BMW 1250 GSA, um, which stands for GS Adventure, you know, the one with the big gas tank. Um, and I've even considered getting a Kawasaki Concourse, the latest version, you know. Um, now, price ranges from 20000 up to 28,000 up to 35,000. Now this is inclusive of tax title and license and all that stuff, you know? So at the end of the day, if I had a picked the BMW K1600 GT with the bags and all that stuff, that would have, yeah, 35,000 bucks. <laughs> but, uh, whew, and I was sweating because um, on a retirement salary, whew, that's a big chunk of change to drop. So here it is, people. Tony Reno from Two Will for Fun. Uh, you know, the site I created for the simplicity of the ride. Well, now it's also new bikes. All right, people. Let's get ready for the new bike reveal. And now, and before I get started, uh, you know what? Sorry about all the, you know, the shadow here because the overhead light. But anyway, um, hopefully you can still see me well obviously you can because i'm on a gopro right um but before i reveal now some of you may say what the hell was he thinking why did he get that bike it's not up to you it's up to me <laughs> and, and i just want you to know this new bike i based my decision off of comfort dependability affordability and yeah there's nothing else that's just it. Uh, so let's get into this, shall we? Uh, <laughs> are you waiting? <laughs> what do you think it is? All right, okay, never mind, never mind. Um, new bike reveal time coming soon on Two Wheel for Fun. <laughs> are you excited? I'm excited too. Let's get on with this, people. You know what it is yet? Do you? Do you? Do you? I'm so excited to show you. <laughs> Here we go, people. My new to me 2016 Honda Go Wing GL 1800. Well, here we go, people. Yes, in all its glory. 2016 Honda Go Wing GL 1800. <laughs> okay, so um, why? Is my 2016 Honda Goldwing a new bike? Well, let's start at the bottom. I have a little mud flap here. Can you see that? Now, it's not an official mud flap one that you get from one of these fancy companies or anything like that. Uh, my friend, um, or Venture Dave, but uh, he makes those. So if you guys want one for your 2016 Honda Goldwing or Goldwing in general, uh, let me know. Maybe we can put them to work. <laughs> I don't know how much you'll charge, but yeah. 
Second thing is, um, you can't see them now, but uh, I have progressive springs in here now. I was just checking for oil. I have progressive springs in there now. And now, the springs are not new new, and I say that because I've had them in there for about maybe a month or so, and uh, Dave installed those. So now, the uh, suspension is a hell of a lot better than what it was on the original Goldwing, or should I say, on my old Goldwing. <laughs> in addition to replacing the springs, he's all, he also deactivated the anti-dive, I think it is, so I don't run the chance of blowing one fork or the other, you know, however that goes. But uh, yeah, um, that in itself totally transformed the motorcycle in the way it handles when I'm going down the road. So, okay, so far we have the mud flap. We have the progressive springs. We've deactivated the anti-dive. And uh, you can't see here in the garage, but I have high beam modulators, which you can see here. Haha, -ha, check that out. Isn't that lovely? Yeah, high beam modulators um, for the headlights. I have a new F4 custom windshield that I got at a steal. I think normally it's what, three, over $300? Well, I got this for under $200. And why might I add? Because there's a small imperfection somewhere in here. There's like a hair caught in between the polymer thing, resin or whatever. But anyway, I can't see it. And then once bugs hit it, you damn sure can't see it. So yeah, new windscreen. I can see things now. Um, what else have I done to this motorcycle to make it feel like a brand new motorcycle and look like a new motorcycle? I've added a luggage rack. It's not fancy. It doesn't have the, the light or whatever on there. So, um, you know, yeah, but it works for me. So when I'm traveling, doing my long distance roads, travels, I can put, you know, rain gear or any other quickly needed accessory on top and I don't have to worry about opening my cases. Check that out. Yeah. Um, what else? Oh, you see the back? Well, you guys are used to seeing the uh, back of the motorcycle stock. Well, why is it new? <laughs> Check that out. Can you see all the lights? I have the uh, strip lighting all around the bottom now. I got LEDs in there. Um, I even have the uh, brake light modification to where all of this lights up and these, when they blink, they blink yellow. Let me show you. See that? Check that out. Yeah. And then the other side. Yeah, so new lights to make this seem like, oh, speaking of lights, I forgot the front. I've installed rondelles, lighted rondelles that are also switch black, switch back blinkers as well. Okay. Um, what else have I add? Um, nothing, nothing else that I, that I can think of right now. But what will be coming will be new tires. Uh, I'll be going to Alaska here uh, sometime in July. So I think I'm gonna go back to dark side for this time frame, and uh, then the next tire, the next set of tires go back to motorcycle tires. But I'm going dark sided because this trip is gonna probably probably be in excess of 10,000 miles. So uh, yeah, I don't have to change tires midway. Um, the other thing that I'm considering about 75% sure is the Henry final drive. Um, I've inquired and I was going to get it this week, but at the last minute I changed my mind. Um, why did I change my mind? <sighs> Money. I mean, it's, I'm not a miser, but I hate spending money. I really do. Uh, so I try to get the best deals on a lot of stuff and 
it's down to I think like four thirteen hundred dollars or something like that right now. But uh, man, I just like man, do I really need it? I mean, yeah, it saves on the RPM and gas mileage and all that stuff, and and I rave about it from when I tested it on Dave's bike. I like what it does. I, I, damn, but when it comes time to paying for it, it's like hmm. So I'll see. I'll I'll definitely have my mind made up by the end of June, <laughs> for sure. Um, or maybe I'll have, a mind up, have my mind made up by the end of May, uh, um, you know. But anyway, anyway, we'll discuss that later. Um, yeah, people, what do you think about my 2016 new to me Honda Goldwing Jill 1800? And uh, I got this bad boy at a considerable cost savings. Like I said, I was looking at spending 30 something thousand on a new BMW. This bad boy and all of its upgrades. I think I've spent less than $2,000 right now. <laughs> all needed stuff, all stuff I wanted, but um, at the end of the day, those modifications make it feel like and make it look like a new bike. Maybe not to you, but to me. And um, yeah, I prefer to keep my money in the bank. It's been Tony Reno from Two Wheel for Fun. You know, the site I created for the simplicity of the ride. And right now, a new to me. Honda Golden GL1800. Get with you later. Peace.